<laughs> yeah. And number three, Zel- is- Zeltron or AI? That's AI. Okay, Zeltron, Zeltron and AI. So one was all three for AI. One was two Zeltron, one AI, and one was two AI, one Zeltron. Big reveal. <laughs> Big reveal. They're all AI. It's like... What? <laughs> They're all AI. I, sure. I made I made those in eight seconds each. I was gonna say twist. Really? They're all Zeltron. <laughs> <laughs> but and that's so that's to my point is to for me to make those beats. They're pretty simple. You know, a few synths, a couple like you might take like say two hours to make that song. By the time you sort through all your samples and listen to your synths and you know choose the right sounds, a couple hours of song. I swear, probably. I swear, I've heard that first one. Some trendy fucking rooftop bar. <laughs> playing in the background yeah. like 100 percent. that's what well, you but, hear it but, but that's <laughs> you probably heard something very similar yeah so that's, that's well that's wild. the other so that's the other thing either they're all like just pre-recorded and sampled blah 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 but then they, the company would be lying and not just one i checked out a like a half dozen there's a whole bunch in china there's like 12 number one songs over the last couple of years that are all done with ai they're all electronic and you can do on some of the better ones if you pay it. It seems like you can actually put, you can pre record your vocals, but it will mix them. So it'll change the pitch, it'll auto tune, it'll add reverbs and delays, and it will mix your song in a oh AI. My God. Yeah. So that's where it's going. I think uh, small time art creators are going to be not necessarily completely put out of a job, but just like when automation first came in for manufacturing. Yeah, you lost a lot of jobs, but you still need someone to run the machine, to program, to fix it, et cetera. I think that's so. Like, you're a composer. You you get handed a say like a series. You need music for this AI, and then you just alter it a bit. Done. So well, much it's faster. A, it's a weird thing to think of because it's a two pronger for me. Where it's like, on one end, like you said, where it's like it's gonna, you know, it could potentially just take away a lot of these artistic jobs and stuff. But at the same time for me and like the way society is kind of going, I sometimes I think like this could be almost a barrier remover. So say if you're like a really good lyricist and a vocal artist, but you have no access to a band, right? You can create, you know, in a couple of years, you might be able to create background music for your vocals for free in seconds. I, like also i think like music culture there's so much there's so much rebellion as part of it you know and like you think about it a lot of with music you're like i don't know why i like this but i do it's weird but mm-hmm. i like it whereas yeah. i don't know if a machine can figure that i'll be like well this doesn't fit into like our our program because this doesn't you know this is weird nobody's made sounds like this before or you know so i don't know music is tough it's so well, I, I don't I, know the word i'm looking for but it's I feel like well, AI would, is so subjective. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's subjective, I feel like in the not, music, if, if the AI is utilized in the music industry, it's strictly for making money. You can feed it stuff to be like, you know, you could test it with test groups and be like, you know, these percentages of people like it when this sound comes on. Just gonna they say, like, it, like they this can use on. it for shitty pop music. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I would. Well, assume, I, I assume they had been using it, it for the last like. Five, you know, ten years, Probably. last decade. Well, I've seen, hey, I watched the Josie movie. and the Pussycat Dolls movie. <laughs> <laughs> they were using well, no, AI on that shit. I'm pretty yeah. sure. And well, for music, I mean, AI in a way like a synth arpeggiator. You tell it what scale and what notes to play, it'll just play them. Like you know, that's that's been around for forever since the start of synth. That was like the very first thing. Computer, like MIDI, computer code, like that. But the one thing it can't replace. So we talk about it now, like even Andrew says, like, yeah, music's sub- sub- subjective, but like it's hard, it's hard to not like nail down. But what, like in 500 years, what do you, like, what, how, if it, if that's in the last, you know, say but he 10 could buy years, animators. Right. Right. There's just gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of things. It's just like, can be, you either, if you're in those industries, you have to adapt to use the AI or you get left behind. Well, think about movies. Think about movies. If there's a way, like, because, I mean, at all, uh, you Google it if you haven't seen it. Hashtag look it up. But, like, you can find, like, AI-generated people and videos with people talking. And none of the people in the videos exist. They're all AI-generated. 
off a script and then AI creates people to read the script and it's all, it's all not real. And it's like, yes, right now it seems unrealistic that you could be like, holy shit, you know, could we make just a whole movie based on AI? But what I'm saying is you might be able to in the, in like in 25, 30 years, you might be able to prompt an AI to write a movie specifically for you at your house Yep. To watch for you to enjoy and watch. You're like, I want to see a movie with Bruce Willis, right? And fucking uh, young Bruce what's Willis. The, what's a young Bruce Willis? Yeah. Right. Young and Bruce old Willis. Bruce Willis. Old Bruce Willis together. And oh, I've I, seen that movie. And I want I want Tom Holland in it. Yeah. And I also want uh, Charlie Chaplin want, in it. Yeah. Silent. You also want the guy I was trying to figure out earlier, whose name is fucking. Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. Me fucking crazy. So throw him in there. Right. And, uh, and then in the, Quentin, yeah. in the style of Quentin, in the style of Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Right. Great and then man. you just sit back and you just uh, enjoy a hour and a half movie that AI just generates. Well, it's Tarantino, it's not an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It's three hours. Yeah, it's but but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was like, I'm like, like that form of art. I think was, I'm like, I could see that becoming very quickly coming down the pipe. Right. Yeah. Well, what, like, I'm going to butcher this. I'm sure you guys know about it more than I do because we're all different types of nerds. You guys are more of these type of nerds than I am. But what about that Unreal Engine shit? Isn't that like the same kind of idea, but with video games? I, well, I mean, I Unreal Engine. So, but I don't really know anything about that. Unreal Engine is uh, like a lot of games use that to like, build their game. To build their games, but like w- using that, like it, it, again I, with the like, it's a barrier remover because like you could. If you had a powerful enough AI in a couple of years, you could be like using Unreal Engine and an AI. This is the kind of game I want based on these formulas. Yeah. No, I right. 100% agree. And I think the so only thing in the, it's good. I, from what I've read and heard some experts talk about, the only thing the AI won't be able to reproduce within a fathomable amount of time, let's say like 500 years. Maybe less. Maybe let's say even 100 years or 200 years is the live performance of art. So a guy live painting, live playing music, live reading a book. There's just like there's going to be something that will not be able to be replicated to watch it live. But if you were to hear it in headphones, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. All right. Well, I will. I will counter that point. Um, we already have hologram technology. Yeah, but those ones suck. They're right? They bad. suck. They suck right now. But like, how far are we away from, you know, they have those hollow box, like the hollow boxes where it's like you stand in one and it, and they can put one in Vegas or whatever. And it looks like you're there standing in it. Didn't right? the gorillas like, do their concert like that? Like, didn't they do? Maybe, one? but I, I saw one with Howie Mandel. He was like, stand, he was in his living room. He was like, they brought this one to my living room. And here I am in Vegas at this conference, like talking. And it looked insane. It looked absolutely insane. And I'm thinking, imagine that on a big scale. Except then you have, you know, in 50 years, you know, all the, you, we get to go to a Rolling Stones concert in their heyday, right? AI regenerated virtual. Isn't that, that's concert. like fucking barf, right? Yeah. That's just like, barf. well, that's like, isn't that's that like barf? hard light constructs or something from, from uh, Spider-Man? Binary augmented retro framing. Yeah. Would remember Stark? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't yeah. it like hard light though? Yeah. Like wasn't his, his thing or it wasn't, it, couldn't you interact with it or something? Or I can't remember what it exactly was. Well, yeah, I mean, so Brayden, I agree with you. And yeah, you could be able to go and as a hologram, go view those things. But what they can't fathom yet, maybe they will well past time we're toast, is being in a live environment with other people. Like you don't, Where yeah, you, they look really, new. they yeah. look perfect like, like yeah that's a person yeah, i'm gonna get that, t- that stale spilled beer smell like that you know yeah, the sweat, yeah where the know, sweat and, and the, the dust and the wind and righteous bo standing right next but to no, me it's, it's gonna like, be perfect yeah. because they're gonna launch us during the next pandemic <laughs> and then everyone right? will just it's fucking be, stay home yeah it's perfect yeah but so yeah you're at you're at the rolling you're at like i don't know what what, what was the original woodstock 67 69 yeah. whatever you're, i want to go to the one where they lit all the fires <laughs> Was that 2000? Um, that, that, that was 1999. Yeah, 99. 99 was like Woodstock 99 was just a fucking like pandemonium. But, but I'm saying, you, yeah, you teleport. They have like, for whatever reason, they have video from that, that day that they've upsampled to make it look like 
high def real life sure it's not, it's not grainy film footage hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these in, broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get ac full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video